I have kind of a, a question that I learned the hard way. Um, in the recording studio, a lot of times you you program your rig and uh, then you get out on the road and uh, maybe a song sounds a little flat or something and you're not quite sure why and mm -hmm. uh, and maybe it's back in the original programming, probably not for you, but this could happen. I've, I've known it to happen. How do you guys, uh, with a big band that has a lot of different instrumentation, what's the tuning pro process uh, during the day? I mean, how to, is there... Uh, how's Billy's stuff tuned, and how's your stuff uh, in tune with everything else? Oh uh, well, first of all, his his piano has nothing in it. It's it's a uh, <laughs> he uses. A, <laughs> no, it's okay. There's no strings in it. It's yeah, it's yeah. it's a keyboard. And, ah, uh, it's an air conditioning vent that comes and, out and a teleprompter it, yeah. that's cut into the shell. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. an empty shell, and uh, yeah. it doesn't have to be tuned anymore because that was a big problem. Yeah. Uh, not not only the tuning because you had to deal with that, but you also have open mics in the piano. You know, which, feedback, feedback, and, and all yeah. kinds of problems. And you can yes. never get a consistent sound out of the piano but this yeah. way every day it's the same so well, so you the, just revealed something that's going to blow a lot of people's minds probably but well, he's not the only guy doing a lot of yeah, people do it out yes. there it's just it makes sense yeah. you know and in an arena you know you're not likely to hear the subtle difference of whether you're playing samples or yeah. or you know uh, uh we, we, so we use a good while and it's it sounds great yeah it's not just good it sounds great yeah. and in an arena the little subtle differences they don't translate yeah but getting back to your other question um I'll, I, whenever I record in the um, when I'm recording and, I, and I'm working on an album I always write down all the patches that I use yeah. but then sometimes when you get into uh, a live setting even though you're using the pa same patch it doesn't carry the same way you have uh -huh. to make sounds in an arena the sounds have to be bigger than life just yeah. like you when you're performing in an arena your gestures have to be bigger than life because the guys who are all the way in the back have to be able the people sitting all the way in the back have to be able to see can't you and they have to be able to hear you yeah. see your face maybe so it's the same thing in the approach that i use to my to my patches so i will to have the basic sound of a patch but i may add another layer of something perhaps a, a, a synth that you uh, that that might be up an octave or a slightly different Fill timbre a uh, with a little different release time and you you won't necessarily hear that I'm using a second layer, but if I were to take it away, yeah. suddenly yes, my sounds would get smaller yeah. and, and, and be kind of buried into the mix, whereas yeah. this helps it cut through.